I've heard autism described as feeling like a space alien in a human's body. I think this statement is really accurate. Having Asperger's syndrome and being inside my head does kind of feel like being in another world. And right now, I alternate between two worlds, the real world and the world of my thoughts. My brain is always extremely active. I'm always running through things in my head. I run over good things, bad things, stuff that has happened, stuff that could happen, fictional people, non-fictional people, things that already exist, things I made up myself. The gears in my head never stop turning. Daydreaming is how I entertain myself when there's nothing else to do, and it's exciting and comforting to retreat into the predictable realm of my own thoughts. The thing about Asperger's is that a lot of emotions are blown way out of proportion. Stress is the worst. Sensory overload is one of the most uncomfortable things that one can endure. And in public school, classroom noise was like torture to me. All the whispering, murmuring, singing, giggling, breathing, pages turning. It feels like a huge shot going off in my head, like a big red light flashing at me to get out now, and I don't know what to do with myself except to just leave. When people with autism like something, they really, really like it. These are called fixations. My fixations are drawing, film, anime, and manga. We like these things because when the entire world feels confusing and double-sided, our fixations are always predictable. It helps us retreat from everything that's going wrong, and when we love something, it's comforting and refreshing to relive that over and over again. I do not feel like autism is a disability. I do not feel like I can't do things that a neurotypical person can do. And I don't want people to feel bad for me, I just want them to accept that I accept being different. Asperger's is something that is embedded in my genes, something I was born with, and it will always be part of me, but it will never be all of me. Even if the symptoms make things difficult, Asperger's will always be part of my identity, and I will never, ever be ashamed of that.